Hi, my name is Kai, and today I'll be giving you a presentation on Megalograptus, because I think it's a very interesting creature. Megalograptus was one of the most deadly prehistoric underwater sea creatures. Megalograptus lived in the mid to late Ordovician peri time period. You might have realized that I said one of the most fearsome and dangerous um, creatures. That's because it's it wasn't the only t of its type. There were others, its relatives, that ate it and what it ate. The human in this is not, did not belong there, they're just having it there for size comparison. What makes Megalograx so cool? That's because how it looks, its hunting techniques, its defense mechanisms, and how it evolved into the horseshoe crab, scorpion, and spider. We will cover all of these. How the Megalograptus looked. It had a large exoskeleton with ovate to triangular scales. It had four pairs of walking legs, the claws right there counted as them. Yeah, it had an axe-like tail, claws in front of the mouth, were small and short, and the larger claws looked like ones of a praying mantis, as shown in this diagram. How the Megalograptus hunted. The Megalograptus hid itself in the sand, and when its prey came close enough, it jumped out with its claws ready for the kill and the taste of blood and gore in its mouth. Megalograptus defensive mechanisms. It had armor planning all over its body, curled its tail, curled its tail to make it look more threatening, and hid itself in the sand to camouflage. Megalograptus descendants are the scorpion, spider, and horseshoe crab. My sources are Wikipedia, Sea Monsters, and Sea Monsters, A Walking with Dinosaurs Trilogy, Episode 1, BBC Network. Goodbye, and please do subscribe.